All right, a lot of book work to get done, but we've got most of it done. Mason Davenport from Tonganoxie, Kansas, will be on the mound for the Blue Devils. That's high and outside for ball one. Shrack. Shrack was two for three in the first game, had a couple of base hits. And that's going to be out of play. One, one, the count that rides through there. First strike, two, one, and two, the count. in the left field and that's going to be taken care of by Nolan the fourth for the first out of the inning that's going to bring up Jaden Hill there's a breaking ball right through there Hill was one for three in the first game. Had an RBI base hit. That's inside. One and one that count. So ground ball up the middle. It's going to be taken by Goldback. And the 6-3 ground out. Go back over to Voida for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Carson Miller. Miller was one for four in one for three in the first game. Had a base hit and a stolen base. There's a foul ball back and out of play. The ground ball at Mervosh gets him a good hop and over to Voida for the 5 3 ground out. After half an inning, no score. I'll be back. All right, Basler, Goldback, and Merva are scheduled up for the Blue Devils. 
There's a strike right through there. James Wise from Oak, Oak, from Grove, Oklahoma, on the mound for for the Red Ravens. That's a strike called on the outside corner. So 0 and 2 the count. Wise is 1 and 2 on the season. There's a ball headed into right field. He just slaps it for a base hit. And he's headed for second base and into second with the double. So Basler in at second base. Wise on the mound. He has a 3.14 ERA. I see a bunt coming here and a bunt hit at that. We'll see. Runner at second base. Go back at the plate. Goldbeck was one for two in the first game. There's the bunt. And gets him, so he moves the runner to third on the 5-3 sack bunt. That's going to bring up more Mervosh. We got one out and a runner at third base. Now, Mervosh was three for three with three base hits and an RBI in the first game. Takes 1-0 the count, takes a ball. Stays outside, 2-0 the count. The Gold Becks are over at third base. One on base, one coaching. There's a foul ball out of play by Merv Hush. So 2-1 the count on him. So Basler with the double, Gold Beck with the sack bunt, Merv Hush. At the plate, had three base hits and an RBI in the first game. Fouled that one a play, out of play. It was going to be a strike, but Jackson Mervosh not happy with his swing there. That was a defensive two-strike swing with only one strike. So two and two, the count on him. And uh, foul into the glove. And held by the catcher, why? Uh, the catcher, Smith, excuse me. That's going to bring up Wojta. Wojta steps in with a runner at third and two outs now. Wojta was 0 for 2 in the first game, and he's hit by a pitch there. So that'll bring up Patterson. Patterson will be the designated hitter in this second game. Patterson had a sack fly and was one for two and had a stolen base in that first game. Blue Devils won it three to two. Runner goes and Moida steals second. There's a breaking ball that stayed a little bit outside. 2-0 oh, the count on Patterson. That's inside. So 3-0 and oh, the count on Patterson. There's a strike called on the outside corner. There's strike two called. So three and two the count. 
Three balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a ball headed for the gap. That's going to score two. So Patterson with the base hit to the gap in left center, and that plates two. So a two-out base hit by Patterson, and the Blue Devils are going to take a 2-0 lead so far here in the inning. That's going to bring up Dirks. Runner goes and safe at second base, so Patterson with the stolen base. Dirks takes strike one. Dirks was one for two. Had a walk, a strikeout, and a base hit in the first game. Way low and outside, nicely blocked by the catcher, Smith. Slow and outside. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two run lead by the Blue Devils here in the bottom of the first inning. That's a little inside. Got a little flinch out of the umpire. Not sure if that was a flinch because he was going to call a strike or a flinch because he thought the ball was going to get him. But three and two the count on Marcus Dirks. It's a ground ball headed into left field. That's going to be cut off by Cruz, but no throw. So that's going to be an infield hit for Dirks. That's going to bring up Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Freddie Nolan, the fourth, starts the day batting 364. Throw over to first, nothing going on over there. Two outs, runners at first and third. Runner goes, going to fake the throw down, and Dirks with the stolen base. Want to know the count. Breaking ball waits on it, still fouls it away. That's inside, one and two the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two on, two runs in here in the bottom of the second. It's a foul ball down by first base. One and two, the count. James Wise from Grove, Oklahoma on the mound. Lefty for the Red Ravens. Curveball stays way outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two runs in in the inning. And number 22 at the plate. Check swing and ruled a strike. So the strikeout ruled on the check swing. The Blue Devils get two runs on three hits. We go to the top 
of the second inning. Blue Devils leading 2-0. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the second we go. Andrews, Cruz, and Dominguez scheduled up. Andrews was 0 for 2 at a couple of strikeouts and a walk in the first game. Mason Davenport from Tonganoxy on the mound again for the second inning. Want to know the count? There's a ball headed toward the gap, but over to plug that gap is Brady Kern. For the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Nathan Cruz, the shortstop. There's a strike called. Cruz was one for three in the first game. Reached on a fielder's choice, grounded out, and had a base hit. A breaking ball stayed up high. One ball, one strike, one out. There's a breaking ball grounded to Mervosh at third. He's up with it and over to Woida for the 5-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Dominguez. He was 0 for 2, had a walk, a ground out, and was called out on strikes in the first game. There's a strike called right at the bottom part of the zone, right down the middle. Breaking ball stays outside. <clears throat> one and one that count. Blue Devils won the first game three to two in seven innings, seven innings scheduled game. There's a ball in the dirt back to the screen, two and one the count. This game will be a nine inning scheduled game. The first game is a seven of the double hitters, and the second game is a nine. We'll have the same format down in Coffeyville on Saturday. There's a ball headed into left field, and that's right at Nolan the fourth. So three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Blue Devils leading 2-0.
All right, to the bottom of the second we go. Blue Devils lead 2-0. Santiago, Kern, and Basler scheduled up for the Blue Devils. Wise back for another inning of work for Coffeyville. And Santiago did not play in the first game. He he does have number 26 on for some reason, but he is listed as 27. So not sure why there's a foul ball down the left field line. Santiago is number 26 on the roster. Coach had Dirks there, and he moved that up a spot, and that's why it shows up that way. Santiago is number 26. That misses just a bit. So when Coach was reprinting his lineup, he... Didn't get all those changes made. That miss is just a little bit outside. So two and two the count. That's outside. So three and two the count on Frankie Santiago, the catcher for the second game. Patterson caught the first game. He's the designated hitter in this one. There's a ball hit it up the middle. And he's going to be safe at first. We'll see if that scored a hit or an error. The ball was a one-hopper deep behind second base. I think scored a hit is what it will be. We'll see what they do. And it is scored a hit. So a base hit for Santiago. That's going to bring up Kern. Kern will step in with a runner at first and nobody out. That misses a little bit outside. 1-0 the count. Kern was 1-for-2 in the first game. Had a walk, an RBI double, and a strikeout. That's inside for ball 2, 2-0 two the count. Scheduled nine-inning game over cast day. Not much win. The flag moving just a little. There's a strike. Catches the outside corner. Two balls, one strike. Runner at first is Santiago. That's outside. So three and one the count. On the center fielder, Brady Kern. And that's ball four. Clear back to the screen, but Santiago wouldn't go no further than second. So back to the top of the order in Basler. <coughs> Excuse me, Basler is from Lansing, Kansas. He'll be up there with nobody out. Runners at first and second. Squares to bump. Misses the high pitch and was not able to get it down. So we'll see if the sack buddy is still on. So Owen won the count. On Basler, squares to Bunt, and pulls back and takes low and inside. So one and one the count. Basler and Goldback have swapped spots in the lineup, still playing their res respective positions. 
pulls back, takes low and inside again. So two and one account. We'll see if the bunt is still on. Going to get a visit to the mound. Coach Mitz, the pitching coach, going to go out and visit a minute. Blue Devils took the first game three to two, seven innings. We will travel down to Coffeyville on Saturday and have a doubleheader down there. Plan to bring you those two games from down there as well. Appreciate those of you that are watching and or listening. Anyone that would like to make a donation, all the donations do go to the production of the Blue Devils baseball games. If you go to 4 make a donation. I know Coach Goldback and his people appreciate that as well as do I. The visit to the mound's over, two and one the count. I imagine Coach Mitz just said, hey, throw him a strike and let him bunt it, and let's get an out, and let's move on. Two and one the count. And the bunt is up, and Basler pops it up, and good things happen for the pitcher when you throw a strike. So that's going to bring up Goldback. Goldback is from Kansas City, Kansas. He'll step in now with one out and runners at first and second. There's a strike right through there. At the knees, right through the heart of the plate, 0 and 1 the count. That's down a little low. One ball, one strike, one out. Comes the 1-1 one, one from Wise. Sweeps a little bit outside, so 2-1 and one the count now. Go back, had a sack bunt his first time up. Foul ball over the third base dugout now to play. So two and two the count now. The ball headed into right field. So gold back with the base hit to right. Now the bases will be loaded with one out. That's going to bring up Mervage. Mervage struck out his first time up. He fouled the ball into the glove of the catcher, Harrison Smith. Smith was able to hang on to it for the strikeout. Bases are full of Blue Devils. That's low and outside. Mervosh is from Lenexa, Kansas. Pop up on the infield. Second baseman's going to come in and take care of that. So Dominguez takes care of that fly ball. Pop up on the infield. That's going to bring up Woida. Woida is from Lincoln, Nebraska. I know his dad is watching from up there today while one of his other boys is playing baseball up there. I believe that he was pitcher on the mound. There's a strike. So Jace's brother is pitching for St. Pius X up in Lincoln, Nebraska today. There's a strike called Owen won the count on Jace. Foul ball out of play. So quickly, Owen to the count in the favor 
of James Wise. There's a ball behind him. So one and two the count. Chase felt like should have scored on that, but you never know. One and two the count. Comes the one-two pitch from Wise. That sweeps a little bit outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two-run lead for the Blue Devils. Foul ball back and out of play. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two again. Another foul ball out of play. So Wise and Moita, W versus W here. We'll do the 2-2 two -two again. At least one more time. Just misses a little bit outside. The Red Raven faithful wanted a punch out right there. The KCK was glad that it wasn't. So now here comes the 3-2. There's a ball headed at the second baseman. Dominguez is up with it and over to Andrews for the 4-3 ground out. So the Blue Devils get a couple of hits, but no runs. We go to the top of the third inning. Blue Devils leading 2-0. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the third inning we go. Guess what? I'm behind on my book work here. Get that updated right there. Amen. Smith and Bacon scheduled up for the Red Ravens. Swinging a miss of that breaking ball. Amon was... Two for three in that first game. Had a couple of base hits and hit into a 4-3 double play. There's a breaking ball. Makes it back to the zone. A nice bender right there for 0-2 the count. So quickly 0-2 the count on the left fielder, Christian Amon. Fouled that one back to the screen. 
So we'll do the 0-2 again. The 7, 8, and 9 hitters, Eamon, Smith, and Bacon for the Coffeyville Red Ravens. Breaking ball breaks outside. Wasn't chasing. <clears throat> so 1 and 2 the count. Foul ball back to the screen. Tried to get the heater by him, but he fouled it away. So we'll do the one, two again. Sunshiny day on the campus of the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Blue Devils. Light breeze coming in from left. And there's a swing and a miss. We'll toss it down to first as Santiago to Wita for the strikeout. That's going to bring up Harrison Smith. Smith came in and pinch hit and had a sack bunt in the first game. There's a breaking ball, stays outside. There's a ball. Smith started the day batting 333, so that sack bunt didn't change that any. I believe it is 2-0, oh, yes. There's a strike. One and two, or two and one that counts, excuse me. I was busy trying to get these 67-year-old eyes trying to read this small print over here. There's a foul ball, so from 2-0 two and oh to 2-2 two and two we go. Harrison Smith, he's the catcher of this second game. First game was caught by Gillespie. Breaking ball, a little bit up and out. Didn't get him chasing there, so now we're three and two. Mason Davenport on the mound for the Blue Devils. There's a ground ball. Mervosh over, backhands it, loads up the rifle, and shoots it over to Woida for the 5 3 ground out. That's going to bring up Bacon. Bacon was 0 for 2 in the first game. He walked, had a ground out, and popped out to gold back in shallow left field. Swing and a miss of that heater. 0-2 the count now quickly. On the right fielder, Eric Bacon. Breaking ball stays outside. 1-2 and two the count. Top of the third inning action. Nine innings scheduled game. Got in on his fist, but he fought it off and fouled it away. So we'll do the one and two again. Eric Bacon, number one. It's a right fielder for the Red Ravens. There's the high heater to strike him out. So a ground out and a couple of strikeouts. We've made it through two and a half innings. Blue Devils leading 2-0. I'll be back.
All right. Here we go to the bottom of the third. Blue Devils leading 2-0. Brady Patterson is from Auburn, Kansas. Waved at that first pitch and comes up empty for a strike. Ohm won the count. James Wise back for another inning of work. A little bit low. One and one the count. Patterson, Dirks, Nolan the fourth. Scheduled up. There's a ball headed to right field. Bacon on his horse and makes a diving play. Just about doesn't get to it, but takes extra bases away from Patterson. So a nice play by the right fielder, Bacon. That's going to bring up Marcus Dirks. Dirks is from Kansas City, Missouri. It takes ball one, one and oh, the count. Foul ball back to the screen. Eamon Hill Bacon left to right across the outfield. Shrack, Cruz, Dominguez, and Andrews left to right across the infield. Harrison Smith behind the plate, wise on the mound. That's outside, so one ball, one strike, and one out. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss of that breaking ball for the strikeout. So that's going to bring up Freddie Nolan the fourth. Freddie is from Fort Worth, Texas. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on. Swing and a strike. He struck out his first time up. Check swing was ruled a strike. Stays outside. One and one the count. It's outside two and one the count. On the left fielder, Freddie Nolan the fourth. There's a strike inside corner at the knees. When we were down in Millington, Tennessee, I met Freddie Nolan the third. He helped us move stuff from one field to another, and there's strike three called on the outside corner. So three up, three down in the inning. No runs on, no hits. Blue Devils lead at the end of three, two to zero. We go to the fourth.
All right, to the top of the fourth we go. Shrack Hill and Miller scheduled up for the Red Ravens of Coffeyville. That's way inside. Shrack is from Edgerton, Kansas. Another one inside. Carson in a little fear of his lower legs there on these last two pitches. 2-0 Two and oh the count. So ball headed at Basler. He's up with it and over to Woida for the 4-3 ground out. So he hit it hard, but right on the ground to Basler. It's going to bring up Jaden Hill. He's from Denver, Colorado. Low and inside. He'll ground it out to go back kind of behind pitcher's mound his first time up. Got it past Davenport and go back took care of that one. That's a little bit low. So started him off the same way he started off the last hitter. Two of them low and inside with them yanking their feet back for fear of getting hit. Now let's see if he comes back with a strike. Yep. Right at the belt, swinging a miss by Hill. So two and one the count. Blue Devils leading 2-0. They won the first game 3-2. to two. There's a breaking ball called for a strike. Nice pitch right there. So two and two the count. I was going to ring him up. I didn't have my count right. I was all geared up for the punch out there, and there was only one strike. So two and two the count. There's a swing and a miss. The same outcome. So that's going to bring up Miller. Miller is from Bixby, Oklahoma. He grounded out to Mervosh at third in the first game. That's outside. Nolan is in left. Kern in center. Dirks moved from left to right. Mervosh, Goldback, Basler, Woid is the same across the infield. Santiago behind the plate with Davenport on the mound. There's a... Little number and a pop-up to Goldbeck, and he takes care of that for the third out of the inning. So three up, three down. We go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Blue Devils leading 2-0.
that's going to bring up Santiago Kern and Basler scheduled up. There's a strike on the outside corner. Santiago is from Calle, Puerto Rico. Swing and a miss of that breaking ball so quickly. Owen to the count on Santiago. Santiago had a base hit his last time up. Stays outside, one and two the count. Santiago, the catcher of the second game. Brady Patterson caught the first game. He's the designated hitter this game. Santiago takes in the dirt. So from 0-2 to 2-2. On the catcher, Frankie Santiago. It's a high fly ball into center field. Camped underneath, that is Hill. And Hill takes care of that for the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Kern. Kern is from Lawrence, Kansas. There's a strike on the inside corner. James Wise back for his fourth inning of work. That's a little bit low. One ball, one strike, one out. There's a breaking ball, makes it back to the strike zone. One and two, the count. <clears throat> Kern reached on a base on balls his first time up. There's a breaking ball headed into the gap. That's going to be a base hit. So Kern with the base hit. To right center, back to the top of the order. That's going to bring up Basler. See if we are inclined to play small ball here. We've got one out, so probably not. But you never know. Maybe bunting for a hit here. There's going to be a throw over to first. Back in safely is Brady Kern. And the runner goes. And... It's going to be out. I think I would agree with him there that the tag was awful high and he was well into his slide, but nonetheless ruled out on the play. Cameraman didn't do such a good job there, did I? Thought he sure looked safe there, like the tag was awfully high. Swinging a miss of that pitch. So Santiago flies out to center. Kern gets a base hit and is caught stealing. Back to the top of the order and Basler. There's a ball that stays outside. Basler has a double, and he popped out on a bunt to the catcher. His second at bat. Out in front of that, off of his foot. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Strike three out. So what he's saying is, is that the arm was in the strike zone above the plate. Therefore, strike three called. 
Not saying it's right, just saying that's the way it, they call it these days. And we go to the top of the fifth inning with the Blue Devils leading 2-0. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the fifth we go. Andrews, Cruz, and Dominguez scheduled up for the Red Ravens. Davenport back for another inning of work. There's a strike right through there, breaking ball. George is from Overland Park, Kansas, went to Blue Valley West High School. Another breaking ball catches the outside corner. So a couple of breaking balls for strikes. Let's see if he dials up that low inside fastball for the punch out. That happened in the last game. There's a, just a little bit low with that curveball. So two and one the count. Andrews flew out to Kern in center field, his last at bat. Just misses a little bit inside with that breaking ball. So four breaking balls, two for strikes and two for balls. Gonna two to the count. There's a fastball inside. Wonder how that didn't get either of his thighs coming through there, but nonetheless, three and two the count. From 0-2 to 3-2. and two. So ground ball headed at Basler. He grabs a good hop, tosses it over to Woida for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Cruz. Cruz is the shortstop. He grounded out to Mervosh his last time up. Cruz is from Paradura Aruba takes ball one. There's a breaking ball that stays upstairs. Two and oh, the count. Stays up high. So 3-0 and oh the count. There's a strike right through there. 3 and 1 the count. Nathan Cruz. Shortstop for the Red Ravens. That's in the dirt. So a one-out walk issued to the shortstop, Cruz. So that's going to bring up Adrian Dominguez. 
Dominguez is from Ontario, Canada. He'll step in with one out and a runner at first base. And that's inside. Want to know the count. That's up high. 2 and 0 the count. Throw over to first, nothing going on over there. Three and oh, the count. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We'll take a short break. We'll see if there's any changes. We'll be back. No change made. There's a strike right through there to Dominguez. Foul ball. So from three and zero to three and two. Runner at first base is Cruz. Runner goes, and he's hit by a pitch. To go from 3-0 and to 3-2 and and then hit him. That's going to bring up Amon. Amon is from Shawnee, Kansas. Runners at first and second with one out. The breaking ball hit right back up the middle. So an RBI base hit for Amon. So two to one now, the lead. That's going to bring up the catcher, Harrison Smith. Smith grounded out to Mervage his last time up. There's a strike called. Smith is from Norman, Oklahoma. 0 oh and 1 the count on him. There's a breaking ball right back down to the strike zone for strike two called. So quickly on to the count. On the catcher, Harrison Smith. Foul ball back and out of play. We'll do the 0-2 again. A ground ball at Basler over to to Goldback and then a will return throw to Woyda 
for the 4-6-3 play. So the Red Ravens get one run on one hit. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Blue Devils leading 2-1. to one. I'll be back. All right, the bottom of the fifth we go. Goldbeck, Mervosh, and Moida scheduled up. Squares to bunt, takes a strike. Just misses a little bit outside, does that pitch. One and one the count as Goldbeck leads off the inning. That misses outside. Goldbeck has a double, a sack bunt. Excuse me, he has a sack bunt and a base hit. I was given Bassler's information as they've swapped places in the lineup. So two and two the count. That's up high. There's a ball headed at the second baseman. Dominguez up with it and over to Andrews for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Mervosh. Mervosh has struck out and popped out to the second baseman. There's a strike right through there. There's a high chopper at the third baseman. He's going to be up with it, and the first baseman, Andrews, is pulled up in the air by the throw from Shrack. We'll see how that is listed. That's going to bring up Jace Woida. The high chopper to the third baseman. Mervosh has a base. No, excuse me, ruled an error. Throw over to first base. Nothing going on over there. So the throw by Shrack pulling him off the bag is the reason for him getting on there for an error. There's a strike on Moida.
and just misses a bit. <clears throat> one ball, one strike, one out, one on. One run lead for the Blue Devils. Wait at the plate. Throw over to first. Nothing going on over there. Runner goes, swing and a miss, and going to be caught stealing is Mervosh. So avoid it with the miss of that pitch, so one and two the count on him. So two outs and nobody on. There's a ball headed into left field. And that's going to be taken care of by Ammon. We will be back for the top of the sixth inning. Blue Devils lead two to one. I'll be back. All right, here we go to the top of the sixth inning. Blue Devils leading two to one. Bacon, Shrack, and Hill scheduled up. There's a Shrack, ah, excuse me, I ruled a ball. One and oh, the count. Bacon has a Strikeout so far in this game. That miss is low and inside. Bacon is from Emory, Texas. Two and oh, the count. There's a strike called. There's a swing and didn't want to, but he did anyway. Foul ball back and out of place, so two and two the count. Foul ball back to the screen. Two and two the count. Top of the sixth inning action, nine inning game. There's a ball headed into left field. On the run is Nolan the fourth and makes the catch on that one. So 
So a fly out to Nolan, the fourth in left field. So back to the top of the order and Schrack. Schrack's been out on a fly ball to left and a ground out to Basler at second. There's a breaking ball, catches the outside corner, comes back nicely to the outside corner for a strike called. Owen won the count. Foul ball out of play. Nolan the fourth, Kern and Dirks left to right across the outfield. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Woida across the infield with Santiago behind the plate. And Davenport in his sixth inning of work in this one. Blue Devils leading two to one. There's a ground ball headed at Basler. He's up with it and over to Woida for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Hill. Hill is grounded out to shortstop, go back and struck out in this one so far. That ball's outside. Want to know the count? Inside. Comes the 1-1, one, one. breaking balls a little bit low. 2-1 and one the count. Excuse me, 3-0 and oh is what the umpire's holding up. There's a strike right through there at the waist on the outside corner. So three and one the count on the center fielder, Jaden Hill. So ball headed into right field. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to fall in front of Dirks. So a two out base hit by Hill. That's going to bring up Miller. Miller has grounded out to Mervosh a third and popped out to Goldbeck. He'll be up there with two outs and a runner at first base. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. One and oh the count. Throw over to first. The Red Ravens with one run on two hits and an error. Blue Devils two runs on five hits and no errors. Nine innings scheduled game. There goes the runner. And out at second base. So Santiago throws out who was covering. Basler, the second baseman, so two to four on the caught stealing. So no runs on one hit. And we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning with the Blue Devils leading two to one.
All right, the pitching change has been made by the Red Ravens. Cross Dowd will come in in relief of James Wise. He is from Anderson, Missouri. Patterson, Dirks, and Nolan the fourth scheduled up for the Blue Devils. That's outside. 1-0 the count. Patterson has a base hit and popped out. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. One and one the count. Dowd has a 1.35 ERA. Turned on that one and zinged it over the top of the dugout of the Blue Devils. Coach going over to check and see if anybody got hit over there. So one and two the count. Foul ball, that breaking ball might have rung him up, so he fouled it away. Blue Devils with a 2-1 lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Nine-inning scheduled game. That's up high. Two and two the count. Comes the 2-2. Breaking ball stays just a bit inside. Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out as Patterson leads off the bottom of the sixth for the Blue Devils. Pop that one up on the infield. Second baseman Dominguez will come take care of that for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Dirks. Dirks has a base hit and a stolen base and a strikeout in this one. So one out. That's low and inside, 1-0 and oh, the count. Marcus Dirks, the right fielder at the plate. That misses just a little bit low. 2-0 oh, the count. One down. Very squares to bunt, and that's in the air. So twice today the Blue Devils have bunted in the air, and the catcher has recorded the out. That's going to bring up Nolan the fourth. Freddie has been out on a strikeout and been called out on strikes. So for two in this one. There's a breaking ball. Slider actually right through there for the 0-1 count on the left fielder, Freddie Nolan. There's a ball headed for the gap. And that's going to be extra bases. And into second base with a double is Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Plugs the gap in left center. So a two-out double, and that's going to bring up Santiago. Santiago is a true switch hitter. He's batted from the left. He's going to now bat from the right. He'll be up there with two outs. His first two at-bats, he's had a base hit and a fly out to Hill in center field. There's a ball headed for second base. 
backhanded by Dominguez over to Andrews for the 4-3 ground out. So the Blue Devils get a two-out double by Nolan the fourth, but they can't get even scored. We go to the top of the seventh inning. The Blue Devils leading 2-1. to one. I'll be back. All right, top of the seventh we go. Blue Devils leading 2-1. Miller, Andrews, and Cruz scheduled up for the Red Ravens. Davenport back for another inning of work. That's low and outside, ball one. Both starters for the Red Ravens went five, and then they brought in relievers both games thus far. 1-0 and oh the count. That's a little bit low, 2-0 and oh the count. It's a ground ball. That's going to be foul. Mervosh was charging hard, getting ready to load up the rifle, but he, it was foul. Two and one, the count. That's inside. Three and one, the count. Hmm. To base on balls. <clears throat> That's going to bring up Andrews. Andrews has been out on a fly to center field and grounded out to Basler. He'll be up there with a the runner at first base. First back in safely is Miller. <clears throat> <Got it. coughs> 
that didn't look as close as the other one of ours that one and one the count. Excuse me, one and two the count the umpire has here. The high fly ball to Kern in center field. That's deep. And at the wall, tagging and moving to third is the runner. So Andrews drives it deep. Moves the runner to third. So now there's a runner at. I just got one. Just that fly ball. This is only the third hitter. So this is going to be Cruz at the plate. He's grounded out to Mervosh and walked his two at-bats. Runner at third. That runner at third is the tying run. One out now. There's a breaking ball. Owen won the count. It's a breaking ball right back to the pitcher. He's going to toss it over just enough to get the run in. So Cruz is out on a 1-3 play. If it's not Davenport or... One of our taller pitchers on the mound, that ball is into the outfield for a hit. But that is going to tie it up at two. There's a breaking ball right across there for a strike. This is Adrian Dominguez. He's been out on a fly to left and been hit by a pitch. Just misses a little bit outside, does that pitch. That's low on the inside. Two and one the count. Dominguez, the second baseman for the Red Ravens. Comes the 2-1. That's up a little high. So three and one the count. Do you have two up? He holds his fingers weird. I thought it was 3-1, but it looked like he did too. There's a ball headed into left field. That's going to be Nolan, the fourth that takes care of that. So the Red Ravens get... One run on no hits. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning with it all tied up. We'll be back. All right, Kern, Basler, and Golbeck scheduled up for this one. We're all tied up as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. 
Cross Dowd back for another inning of work. There's a strike, catches the inside corner. Kern has walked, had a base hit, and then was caught stealing. Owen won the count on him. That breaks outside. One and one the count. Ammon Hill bacon across the outfield. Schrock, Cruz, Dominguez, Andrews across the infield. There's a ball at Dominguez. He's up with it. And over to Andrews for the 4-3 ground out. With Harrison Smith behind the plate and Dowd in on in relief of Wise. Back to the top of the order and Peyton Basler. Basler has a double popped out bunting and struck out. That misses a little bit low. Pretty good pitch right there. 1 0 the count. Two and zero the count now. There's a strike. Catches the inside corner. Two and one the count. It's a ground ball off the first baseman's glove, and the pitcher. Dowd comes over to cover, over to cover so a 3-1 ground out. Andrews to Dowd for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Goldbeck. Goldbeck will step in with two outs and nobody on. He's at a sack bun, a base hit, and a ground out to Dominguez at second base. That's inside and all the way back to the screen. 1-0 the count. All tied up at two here in the bottom of the seventh. Nine innings scheduled game. There's a strike, catches the inside corner at the knees. It's a high fly ball into center field. You won't see him hit one high very often, but nonetheless taken care of by Hill. Three up, three down here in the bottom of the seventh. So we go to the top of the eighth inning. We're all tied up. Stay with us. We got a good one. Pitching change for the Blue Devils. <clears throat> Number 50, Bryson Vodder from Topeka, Kansas. He has a 0, 0.0 ERA. His record is 0-0. Zero zero. He has pitched two different times, a total of two innings. He's called upon here to come in on and in relief on Mason Davenport. Davenport went 7 here we are in the top of the eighth, and I've got some book work to do. It's 
going to be Christian Ammon up there. Ammon. And just misses with the ball with that one. Ammon Smith and Bacon scheduled up for the Red Ravens. That's high and inside. Two and oh the count. Is that a foul ball back and out of play? Nolan the fourth, Kern and Dirks left to right across the outfield. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Woida across the infield. Santiago behind the plate. Vodder on in relief. And there's a fly ball headed into right field. Dirks took a couple steps in, retreats, squeezes it for the first out of the inning. Have a pinch hitter here, number 17, Ethan Gillespie. Gillespie caught the first game. Comes the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a miss. Breaking ball just about makes it back to the strike zone, but not quite. We're all tied up at two. One out here in the top of the eighth inning. Foul that one back. One and two the count. Red Ravens, two runs on two hits and one air. Blue Devils, two runs on six hits and no airs. One and two the count here with one out. That's up high. Two and two the count. There's a hit by a pitch. So a one out hit by a pitch. So Tate Moody, number seven, will pinch hit. Moody will step in with one out and a runner at first base. Moody starts the day batting 263. Fouls that one away. Runner at first base is Gillespie. He was hit by a pitch. Called a swing. Oh, and to the count. Way outside. One and two. Runner at first base. One out. Top of the eighth inning action. All tied up at two. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Headed for the soccer field. No broken glass music today. One and two the count. Outside, two and two the count. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on, all tied up. Throw over to first, nothing going on over there. Blue Devils took the first game three to two. That misses outside. Three 
Three balls, two strikes, one out. Toss over to first base. Nothing going on over there. Gillespie back in safely. Foul ball back and out of play. We'll do the 3 2 again. Nothing going on at first with that toss over there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout for the second out of the inning. So back to the top of the order and Carson Schrack. He's the third baseman. He's popped out to left field and grounded out to Basler at second twice. Throw over to first. Nothing going on over there. All tied up at two. Top of the eighth inning. And a buck called. Coach Goldbeck going to come out to get an explanation as to the buck. I looked down, so I didn't see. Did he not pause? Maybe it was just a quick pitch. We're not sure. So there's nothing unanimous up here in the press box with the answer to that one. So they're going to put Shrack on. So an intentional walk to Shrack. We also did an intentional walk on him in the first game as well. That's going to bring up Jaden Hill. Hill is grounded out, struck out, and had a base hit. He's up there with two outs. There's a ball headed down the left field line and out of play. Runner at second base is Gillespie. Runner at first is Schrack. Just catches the outside corner. You can always use a call like that. It just makes you able to do so many more things with this next pitch. Owen oh, to the count, two outs. Just sails a little bit outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, and we're all tied at two. And a swing and a miss for the strikeout. So Vauder gets out a little bit of trouble there. We go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. We're all tied at two. Stay with us. We got a good one.
All right, here we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Welcome. See, we've got a few people. We're up over 100. I appreciate it. We always enjoy being able to bring the game to you. We are in the bottom of the eighth. We're all tied up at two. Cross Dowd back to the mound again for the Red Ravens. Talking with an umpire out there with one of the trainers seeing what he did to twist to twist something. So I think he's motioning for the other umpire to come out and the other umpire's walking away. So because of the injury to the umpire, it looks like he's going to just do like a softball umpire and be in the middle. So Mervosh steps in, and there's a strike right at the top part of the zone. Mervosh has struck out, popped out, and reached on an air. He's up there to lead things off in the eighth. There's a high pop-up over to the right side, and Andrews comes over to take care of that. So a pop-out to Andrews in foul territory over behind first base. That's going to bring up Wada. Wada will step in. Wada will enjoy seeing a right-hander here instead of a lefty. That's up a little bit high, 1-0 and oh, the count. Wait has been hit by a pitch, grounded out to the second baseman and out on a fly to left. There's one in it. Outside for 2-0 and oh, the count. That's inside. So 3-0 and oh, the count. Say, Jace Woida will be taking here. We'll see. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. All tied up at two, bottom of the eighth inning, nine inning scheduled game. Blue Devils took the first game three to two. That's outside for ball four. So a one out walk to Woida. And that's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson has a base hit, a stolen base, popped out to deep right field in foul territory and popped out to the second baseman. We're going to get a pitching change. We'll get those changes. We'll be back. Stay with us. we got a good one here. Thanks. Pitching change made by <clears throat> the Red Ravens. Alex Oliver from Grove, Oklahoma will come on in relief. Oliver has a 2.45 ERA. 0-1 is his record. He's made four appearances in seven and a third innings pitched. He's not given up any triples or home runs. He has 
eight strikeouts and five base on balls that he's given up in those seven and a third innings. So one out, runner at first base. And Brady Patterson at the plate. So coach is going to run back out. The umpire's having the pitcher take something off of his wrist. Patterson will step in. Patterson has four home runs on the season. Voida has five, and Santiago has three. And Goldbeck has a couple, and then three or four guys have one. So Patterson would like to either get some extra bases out there or would like to get something over the fence, but anything on the outfield grass would be welcome at this point. So Brady Patterson steps in. He'll be the first to pace, face Alex Oliver. That's low for ball one. Runner at first base is Woida. Woida with the one out walk. Throw back over Woida back in safely. There's a strike called bottom, bottom part of the zone. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. One run needed by the Blue Devils to take the lead here in the bottom of the eighth. Scheduled nine inning game. Throw over to first. And that ball hit. Jace, not sure where it got him, but he's kind of slow to get up over there. Oh, shake it off and let's play. Oh, that wasn't very nice. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Patterson at the plate. Boy, did it first. He had the one out walk. There's a breaking ball, catches the strike zone. One and two, the count. The ball hit it at the second baseman. He's up with it. Dominguez. Dominguez over to Cruz and back to Andrews for the double play. So we go to the top of the ninth inning. We're all tied up at two. Stay with us. We got a good one. All right, to the top of the ninth inning we go. Miller, Andrews, and Cruz scheduled up. Vodder back for another inning of work. 
There's a strike right through there inside corner at the waist. All tied up at two. In the dirt, one and one the count. Two runs on two hits and an air for the Red Ravens. Two runs on six hits and no airs for the Blue Devils. All tied at two. There's a ground ball headed at Goldback. He's up with it. And over to Woida for the 6-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Andrews. Andrews will step in with one out and nobody on. He's been out on fly balls to Kern in center and grounded out to Basler once. That misses outside 1-0 the count. That's outside for 2-0. and oh. That's outside 3-0 and oh the count. It's awful easy to say just throw strikes, but if you throw a strike and he hits it out, that doesn't feel so good. There's a strike right through there. So three and one the count. You hate walks, but you hate giving up home runs as well. There's strike two outside corner at the knees. So from three and oh to three and two. On the first baseman, George Andrews, and there's ball four. So probably going to have a pinch runner here. See if we can get his number 12. Thank you, Cooper Smith will run at first base for Andrews. There's a strike right through there. Cruz has grounded out, walked, and has an RBI on a high chopper back to the pitcher th that made out, but <clears throat> made out, but still scored the run. Vodder on the mound. Oh, the bunt is up, and Santiago tick. A step forward the field and couldn't find it. That's one of those ones that as the infield and pitchers need to be pointing for the ball, but I don't know that even pointing at that one would have helped him much. It's not like it was way up in the air. So owing to the count, Vodder could sure use a strikeout right here. Be a throw at first. Nathan Cruz, the shortstop at the plate. Santiago made that look tougher than maybe it was. I don't know if he got his cleats hung up or what. But one and two the count on Nathan Cruz. That's high and outside. Two and two the count. The cheese gets binding. We're in the top of the ninth inning. 2-2 Two -two score. Red Ravens have a runner on with one out. There's a ball headed into right field. Over to pick that up is Dirks. The runner moves to third. So one out and runners at the corners. So Cruz with a base hit. To right, and that's going to bring up Dominguez. See what the Blue Devils do as defense here. Dominguez has been out on a fly to left field a couple of times, been hit by a pitch. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We'll see if there's any changes. I'll be back.
All right, words of wisdom imparted. Runners at the corners. That's outside for ball one. Smith at third. Cruz at first. Dominguez at the plate. Vauder on the mound. The go-ahead run at third. Squares to bunt, pulls back. Takes ball, so 2-0 and oh the count. Going to go over to first. Nothing going off over there. Thought he might catch him sleeping, but didn't. Squares to bunt, and it's fouled back. So two and one the count. So we have the bunt and a little bit of a flop throw. We're going to get a visit to the mound. So they're asking the coach at, or the umpire at home, and he's shaking his head yes. I'm assuming he's shaking his head yes that he pulled him off. He went like this. Yeah, he goes, yes. the, the home plate umpire did this as well. I didn't see him do the motion. I just saw him shaking his head, yes, holding his mask, gotcha. So he pulled him off, and I'm not down that a bit, but I say throw the dead gum ball hard because that's what you're used to doing. But that's easy to say. So the bases are going to be loaded with one out. And we're going to make him pitching change. Koski, yes. Bart Koski going in. So Bart Koski will come in. Bart Koski is from Seneca, Kansas. Right-handed pitcher, as you can see. Bart Koski has a 0, 0.00 ERA. He has a 1-0 record, and that 0, 0.00 ERA is with 9 and 2 thirds innings pitched. So it's not like he's just pitched an inning or two. So... Coach Goldbeck going with the side armor with the bases loaded and one out. Top of the ninth inning action, all tied up at two. Christian, Christian Ammon, he'll be up there with one out. And there's a hit by pitch to put the Red Ravens ahead. So a three to two lead now for the Red Ravens. There's a strike called. So the Red Ravens of Coffeyville now with a 
One run lead, three to two here. There's a foul ball off the net over here. So quickly, oh, and to the count. Bases full of Red Ravens. Aiming at the plate. There's a breaking ball. Makes it back to the strike zone, but a little low. Way outside. Two and two the count. Two balls, two strikes, in and out. There's a ground ball into left field. And two runs score on the play. So that makes it five. To two. That's going to bring up I show that it should be I see that it's Tate Moody. I see that it should be Ethan Gillespie. So I missed one before that then. Very good. Thank you. So Tate Moody is at the plate. So the two RBIs goes to Gillespie. And the runners move up. So it wasn't Christian Amon, it was Gillespie with the base hit for two RBI. So runners now at second and third, and Tate at the plate, Tate Moody. He's had a couple of strikeouts and a fly out to left. There's a foul ball down behind Coach down there. Two balls, two strikes, and now three runs in in the inning for the Red Ravens to take a 5-2 to two lead way outside. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. There's a foul ball back to the screen, so we'll do the 3-2 again. Runners at second and third, one out, and that misses outside for ball four. So back to the top of the order and Shrack. So coach is going to go out with a visit, and we're going to get a change. The Red Ravens have plated three here in the top of the ninth to take a 3-2 lead. We'll get a pitching change. I'll be back.
All right, pitching change has been made by the Blue Devils. Number 16, Justin Freeze from Salina, Kansas, will come in. Freeze has a 7.04 ERA. He has seven and two-thirds innings in seven appearances. He'll come in with the bases loaded and just one out to face Carson Schrack. Schrack has a couple of ground outs and an intentional walk and a fly out. So Freeze inherits the bases full of Red Ravens and the Blue Devils trying to get out of this inning so they can get in to do some work in the top of the ninth or the bottom of the ninth. And there's a strike upper part of the zone, strike one called Owen, won the count. On the third baseman, Carson Schrack. That's in the dirt, nicely blocked by Santiago. One ball, one strike, one out. It's a ball headed deep to right field on his horse is Dirks, and he's not going to get to it. One, two, and three runs in on that triple by Carson Schrack. So nine two now the or excuse me eight two is the score now. The double unloads the bases by Shrack. That brings up Jaden Hill. Two and oh the count on Hill. A foul ball out in front of that is Hill. Runner at second base, one out. Turns back, nothing going on back there. Swing and a miss. So two and two the count now. Comes the two two. Is a base hit into right field. Coming toward home, and that's going to be safe at home. And an RBI base hit. For Hill. It's going to make it 9 2. So the Red Ravens have batted around. That brings up Miller. Miller grounded out to shortstop to start this inning off. Breaking ball headed down the right field line. It's going to be out of play. Yeah. 
Miller, the designated hitter. He's grounded out, popped out, walked and grounded out. 0 for 3 in this game. Throw over to first, back in safely as Hill. And a hit by a pitch. So a pinch hitter, we're going to get a visit to the mound, but we're also going to have a pinch hitter for the Red Ravens. So we're going to get a pitching change, and we'll see if the pinch hitter stays. We'll get that change, and we'll be back. The Blue Devils have given up seven here in the top of the ninth inning. They trail nine to two. I'll be back. Pitching change being made by the Blue Devils. Number 11, Carson Rosen will come in. He is from Topeka, Kansas. Went to Washburn Rural High School. He has a 4.76 ERA and a record of 1-0. We have a pinch hitter for the Red Ravens. Number 27, Landon Midget. He's from Columbus, Kansas. He will pinch hit for Cooper Smith. So the Blue Devils trail here by seven. They still have to get two outs to get to go in and see if they can overcome that deficit. So runners at first and second, midget at the plate. There's a strike on the inside corner by Carson Rosen. Owen won the count. The high fly ball into left field. Coming in to take a look at that is... Nolan the fourth, and he takes care of that for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Nathan Cruz. Cruz walked his first at bat in this inning. He's flown out a couple of times and grounded out earlier in this game. There's a ball headed into shallow right field, coming hard. 
to try and get that as Dirks and another run will score on the blue base hit to right field. So 10 to now the lead. So that brings up Dominguez. He was hit by a pitch to score a run earlier in this inning. There's a foul ball back to the screen. Runners at first and third, two outs now. There's a high fly ball to right field. And taking care of that is the right fielder, Dirks. So the Blue Devils give up eight runs on six hits. We go to the bottom half of the ninth inning. Blue Devils trailing 10 to 2. We'll be back. Blue Devils with some work. All right, to the bottom of the ninth we go. Blue Devils trailing 10-2, to an eight-run inning for the Red Ravens. Alex Oliver back for another inning of work. We're going to have a pinch hitter for Levi Martin will pinch hit for Dirks. Martin is from Olathe, Kansas. First pitch is a ball. Martin starts the day batting 391. There's ball two. There's a strike right through there. Swing and a miss of that high heater. There's a ground ball headed at the shortstop. Cruises up with it and over to Andrews for the 6-3 ground out. Going to have a pinch hitter. Pinch, pinch hitting now, number 45, John Kamey. Takes ball one. So Martin grounds out to the shortstop, Cruz. Kami will pinch hit. There's a strike right through there. 
One and one, the count, one ball, one strike, one out. Blue Devils down to their last two outs for this one. That's outside and low. Two and one, the count. Blue Devils gave up eight. Run and gave up eight runs in the top of the ninth. They're trailing 10 to two for those that have just joined. That ball gets out of play down there. So two and two the count on the pinch hitter Kami. Tying inside. So three and two the count. There's a high chopper out in front. The pitcher Oliver out to get it and over to Andrews for the one three ground out. It's gonna bring up Santiago. Santiago will step in with two outs now. Blue Devils down to their last out. Santiago's had a base hit, a fly out, and a ground out to the second baseman. There's a strike 0 and 1. The count. Stays up high. Comes the pitch to Santiago. That's up high. Two and one the count. Two and one the count. There's a strike. So three and two the count now. So the Blue Devils down to the last strike for the time being. And Santiago fouls that away to earn one more pitch at least. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And foul ball just could not quite hold it. Could the catcher. So we'll do the 2-2 again. That's up high. So three and two the count. Santiago thought it was ball four. And fouls it back to the screen. We'll do the three two again. Want to remind everyone we will be live streaming from Coffeeville provided internet and all those things work out, but the plan will be. And there was strike three right down the middle. So the second game of the day goes to the Red Ravens, 10-2. to two. The Blue Devils took the first one, 3-2. to two. So the split today, the win streak ends, and we will see you from... Coffeeville on Saturday. Everyone have a nice evening. Be safe. If you would like to donate to the broadcast, go to fortees.com. There's a donation page. There's several ways to give. If you'd like to give, do so. If not, that's fine. We just enjoy you watching the game. And we'll see you Saturday from Coffeeville. Good night.